Hi Renee! Hi Renee! <laughs> this is Charlotte. I'm Maggie. And we're gonna give you a little mocha pot tutorial because we heard that you were interested in our little miniature mocha pot. So you just got yours from the store. This is going to be a tutorial, but we're showing everything. So after you've already made an espresso, this is a post step, but we're gonna start by cleaning it out from the last espresso that we did. Okay, you're gonna have to follow me a little bit. Okay, I'm out. So, <laughs> it's not like we're doing it like this. So first off, there might be a little bit of water left in. So when you pour it out, a little bit of water might come out because not all of it gets made up during espresso. And then there's a puck of used espresso and I'm just gonna tap it on the trash can and then empty it out. Now we're gonna go to the sink. <laughs> I like that we're filming it from the first. <laughs> yeah. Angle. So you're just going to rinse it out. You're never going to wash this with soap. You're only going to give it a good scrub with water. And it's kind of like, an, I don't know, it's like a cast iron thing. Maybe it's an Italian thing, but it's like you don't ever wash it with soap. It just stays seasoned with coffee and you can give it a good scrub with water. Like every few uses, it gives it a good clean. Then you're going to fill it with water. I use like a slow tap up to the point where there's a little knob in it. You can see that there. And when I hold it flat, the water line hits right in the middle of that like little Bit. I think you can actually see it right there. Yeah. So do that until halfway. It's like a valve. Then you put in this little part. Don't forget to fill it with water, by the way, because then the handle will start melting and you will only make that mistake once. But like double check and be like, did I put water in this? Because that water is an important part of espresso. Okay. I'm coming, down. I'm coming back here. So this is good. So now you're going to take espresso. Oh, sorry. This is the one I use that I got in Italy with the little pot, but I'm sure you could use any coffee. I don't think it has to be espresso. Oh no, it does. Oh, okay. It's, it's, it has... the, it's the grind. It's very fine, finely ground. Okay, thank you for the camera, and now we know. Yeah, it does say so... Gran Aroma. That's a job. <laughs> Joe's getting a donut in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> it's for Renee. Okay, now we're gonna fill. I have a minute. A miniature spoon works best. Get up in here. We're gonna fill it. Uh, I really don't. Just like as much as your heart desires. I don't think it has to be completely full. I feel like that amount. Just like put espresso in it. Then, but you don't have to pack it down or anything. Then you take this and you screw on the top. Then we're gonna just make sure the bottom is like dry. It's just putting it on the stove. Then you're gonna come over to your stove. Put it on a burner so that the handle is on the outside. And then I turn that burner on to like six or seven above. That's, we have an electric stove. But if it's actually so much better. I hope you have a gas stove. It's so fun to watch it like gurgle up in flames and you could just do like a little bit, I don't know, medium heat, medium high. So now while this little thing is on the burner, it's gonna take, it's also gonna get quicker as you continue doing it, like as you use your pot, but it's gonna take like maybe a minute, minute and a half and you just have to like stay near and listen to it because what's happening is that the water in the bottom chamber is going to boil, go up through the little like espresso grounds and then end up in this chamber right here. So the way you're going to know that it's done is when you're just going to hear it. So you're going to hear like the boiling water and gurgling up through there. And almost as soon as you hear the gurgling, you can pull it off the heat. You're also going to see, see a little bit of like steam coming out because and then once the steam is coming out, you know that all the water that like has evaporated, is, it's done. If you want, you could carefully check. You could open the lid and just look and you can even watch it go through. Can you can you see the inside of that? Potentially, yeah, it looks like that. And you'll watch the espresso boil up. Should we try and get that shot? Yeah, we'll see. Okay, maybe we'll take a pause. Here. <laughs> so now you just let it sit. Oh, and now are we gonna go on to try to show how to like do a cappuccino? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna let that boil and we're gonna keep an eye on it and like an ear. Okay, coming back to our station. We I think we will just have to post this somewhere like on YouTube. Yeah, later. that's fine though. Okay, now this is, so we're making Maggie a cappuccino. There's many drinks you can make with espresso. You can do just like a shot of it in a little espresso milk, just drink that. You could do a little bit of cream, you could do a little bit of foamed milk and that's like a little macchiato. You could add some sugar, you could add like a little flavor. You can do all kinds, of, you can make a cappuccino, which is what we'll do. We can also do like an Americano or an iced Americano, which is adding espresso to hot or cold water. So many possibilities. Okay, I'll show you how to make a cappuccino. You're gonna take some, I use like nice whole milk. This is my famous recipe. And you like pour a good amount in. We have another one in the fridge. Then, sometimes I put in a little, depends how sweet you like it. We're making a cappuccino on the sweeter side with a little more flavor <laughs> for now, but you can do it any way you like. You can just do plain milk and nothing else. Add in some hazelnut creamer, whatever you have. And then we put this in the microwave for like 30 seconds. And I'll use, well, I guess we'll do that separate. Then we'll make Joe's little, Fun things to have 
with a little mocha pot is having little syrups and a little whiskey wand allows you to make so many more things like what we're doing now. So that's fun. How would you how would you rate this experience so far? Does it feel very Italian? It does. <laughs> if it's super Italian, I feel like I'm being led by such an expert. Yeah. I kind of feel like I'm I'm filming Rachel Ray. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel like that. Then you're gonna get a homemade mug. This is a very important part. Uh, this is my homemade cappuccino mug. It's a little sunflower. Yeah, we watch, We also do have to watch our espresso. It does happen pretty quickly, especially if you've done it. Like, oh, this is gorgeous. And also sometimes if it's just like not boiling at all, a hack that I learned from a random Italian Airbnb owner is that you could take it and just run a little bit of cool water over the bottom of it. And then that like, I don't know what the, f what the physics are, <laughs> but it like kicks it into gear. It's like, oh shit, we should be boiling, but we're not, we didn't register that. So you could try putting a little, Hot water. Which Airbnb? The one in Novara, where it was like, I realize I want to make this in a cappuccino mug, so I'm doing transfer. The one in Novara, who was like, it's just like this wacky guy. He had a cat. He had a princess cat. He had he was this wacky little dude, and it was the time that he told me I was the first tourist he had ever had there, because he'd never heard of anyone going to this town as a tourist. Like he's had like people coming in for business or visiting family stay with him, but he's never had a tourist. Like I went out for drinks with his friend. I met his girlfriend. I'd, I'd go back. It was fun. I don't remember his name, but he was chill. Yeah, I went and saw Guardians of the Galaxy in Italian. <laughs> then, like, Guardians of the Galaxy 3 in Italian, and it had a smoke break in the middle of it. It was like the whole theater went out to smoke, and then they went and got us. And we came, and they were like, okay, come back in now. Let's just doing one show at a time, this little time. There's like five people there. Anyway, oh, we hear it. Okay, now your milk is froth. Warm froth milk. Come on over here. Here's the sound. You'll hear it a little bit more. Is it? But now look in there. Hold it above so you can see in it. Yeah, kind of there. That's what it looks like. Now, once that's there, okay, close it, pull it off the heat. Turn off your burner. I don't even realize, but now while it's still hot, just go and into your little milk as confirmed. I, I can't do fancy designs, but maybe you'll be able to. And there you go. And now, and you could top this with like cocoa powder or cinnamon or fun things. You got a fun cappuccino. With this, this is obviously still very hot. So I would just like sit, let it cool off like this for a while. I would even just like leave it like this until the next time I make something, even if that's the next day. And then when it's the next day, you do the same thing. You like unscrew it, dump out the puck, refill it with water and just repeat that little process. So hope this was helpful, Renee. Sorry that it's like eight minutes long, <laughs> but <laughs> one of those eight minutes breaks, we now have a lovely little cappuccino right here from your own hands in your own home. Enjoy. Hey, go ahead. <laughs> Bye.